Throughout preseason, Arsenal's trades of Italian Ricardo Calafiori seemingly spelt the end for Alexander Zinchenko. With Arsenal having the likes of Calafiori, Urien Timber, Jakub Kivior and Tommy Asu all able to play at left back, plus the heavy rumours at the start of June about Arsenal being open to letting Zinchenko leave the club in this window, it was seemingly the end for the 27-year-old Ukrainian. After having a very tough season last season, with many of the opposition we went against knowing our weakness was to attack the left-back position and at times even being benched for a centre-back in Jakub Kivior, it seemed that Arteta had finally had enough of Alexander Zinchenko. Tons of fans were crying for it and Arteta finally seemed to agree with those fans. But heading into the first day of the Premier League season, Zinchenko was not only sold from the club but he was starting against Wolverhampton Wanderers and there honestly wasn't that much of a huge uproar about this. And against Wolves, while well, Zinchenko put in a very solid performance and very respectable performance, especially in that first half. So does this mean that Zinchenko is here to stay? Should he be given the first choice left back role? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Gun Essential here. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Now, to say Zinchenko had a rough season last season, well, that would be an understate. Now, he did have 55 games with one goal and two assists, but if you watched him with your eyes, you would have just known that he was rough to say the least. I mean, towards the end of the season, between his calf injuries and just being benched for the whole game, Zinchenko did not play in nine of our last 15 Premier League games of the season last season, and when he played he mainly came off the bench as a last minute substitute at left back. In the second leg of the quarterfinals against Bayern Munich away the Allianz Arena, well Zinchenko didn't even make an appearance, he was stuck from the bench for the second leg after playing at one half in the first leg. Between countless amount of times of Arsenal fans screaming for Zinchenko to never play for us again, and Zinchenko just having nightmarish performances where he just got roasted, whether that be against Mo Salah, whether that be against some unknown name winger, Zinchenko really really struggled last season. Season. So that's why heading into this transfer window, it didn't really surprise any of us to hear those rumors about Arsenal being open to letting Zinchenko leave. Zinchenko is 27 years old, set to turn 28 in December. He really had a rough time last season. So those rumors really didn't surprise anyone. But what was so surprising was that nothing ever really happened from those rumors, whether that was because clubs did not want him or because those rumors were just not true and Arsenal and Arteta still back in Zinchenko. I would say Zinchenko is like he had to stay there isn't much left in the window there's no rumors about him leaving he is likely looking like he will stay at least for this season and i don't think that's the worst of situations because there's not really a left back in our squad that is quite as good as Zinchenko on the wall even though I think Yuri Timber is quite close to Zinchenko's level but now if Zinchenko will be the first choice left back I think we can all agree that's just never gonna happen. Yuri Timber in my eyes is our first choice left back. We saw him come out against Wolves and he looked superb and I think it'll be between Calafiori and Zinchenko fighting for the second place left back spot. I think Calafiori is going to be used more as a left centre back as kind of a utility man in our defence whether that be Rest and Gabriel or whether that mean he plays at left back but I don't think Calafiori will be an out and out left back like I said the moment we were linked to him. I think Urien Timber is going to be our starting left back and should be our starting left back. I don't think there's even a debate there. I just think Calafiori will probably be used as a utility defender with Zinchenko being your out and out backup left back. But there were games last season when we had to kind of play a better team or a bigger a team like against Man City, like against Bayern Munich, and we just couldn't afford having Zinchenko in. Zinchenko plays really well against teams that are going to allow us to ball, they are going to sit off on us, they are going to have a low block. Zinchenko does very well against those teams because Zinchenko is so good on the ball and so good at inverting into midfield, creating an overload in midfield, hoping us spread the ball and hoping us create chances. I mean, you think back to that first goal we scored with Kai Havertz, Saka whipped in a beautiful ball. That ball was given to Saka by Zinchenko. Zinchenko is really good against a team parking the bus. But boy oh boy when I say this, Zinchenko cannot play against a team that is looking to attack us, that is looking to also compete for the ball like a team of our level like Man City or Bayern Munich. We can't afford to have Zinchenko starting in those games, absolutely not. So that's why I'm expecting Zinchenko to kind of be the backup. Urien Timber, in my eyes, is almost as good on the ball as Zinchenko. Not quite as good, but he's almost as good on the ball as Zinchenko. Urien Timber is a more than capable player when inverting from the left back slot. And even though he's right footed at left back, he looks extremely, extremely comfortable. And also Urien Timber being able to play left back, send back, right back. 
that even adds to his game. But I think Yurin Simba is our first choice left back. Zinchenko back up, Calafiori kind of as your utility man. I'm just quite surprised that some people are still so up in arms about Zinchenko. I get it. He's a polarizing player. Really horrible defensively and being a left back, I don't give you inverting. Defending should be your number one attribute and that is just not Zinchenko. So I get why Zinchenko is such a polarizing player for our fan base. But I think having him with Tomiyasu, with Calafiori, with Yurin Timber, with Jakob Kivior. I don't think having Zinchenko is all that bad to add into the squad. Again, we still have Kieran Tierney, but I mean, that's just, he's never going to play for us. Calafiori again will be our utility man. Timber in my eyes will be our starting left back. Jakob Kivior also like Calafiori, a utility man. Tomiyasu like Calafiori and Kivior, just a utility man at the back line, able to play basically all positions. So I don't think keeping Zinchenko, at least for this season, is all that bad of a decision by the club. He does still have two years left on his deal. So this time next year, well, that will kind of be in the position where we might have to sell him. He'll be 28 years old. He'll have one year left on his deal. We might be in the position where we have to sell him next summer. But I don't think we should just look to sell him for any price we can get now. Unless a club comes in in the last week in a bit with an awesome offer, say around 30 million pounds, 35 million pounds, well then I don't see a reason to sell Zinchenko. But also I don't see a reason to make Zinchenko our first choice left back. Please, Arteta.